and welcome to Tara's Tricks. This week I'm going to show you how to make roast potatoes. So, I changed it up a bit which potato I use. Today I'm going to be using red skin potatoes. Sometimes I use Maris Piper and sometimes I use King Edward. First things first, all I'm going to do is peel all of the potatoes. So now we need to decide how big we want our roast potatoes to be. Always make them slightly bigger than you want them because they'll shrink um, and also they'll break up less in the tray. So I am going to halve and then just in half again. Okay, so getting quite nice big ones. If you want to make little tiny crispy ones, you can do that as well. Obviously, just cut them smaller and then into an empty saucepan. If your vegetable that you're trying to cook grows below ground, you want to cook it starting in cold water. But potatoes, they obviously grow underground, so we're gonna cover them with cold water before we start cooking them. So now we're gonna get them on heat, and we are going to add a very big pinch of salt. So I tend to put a small handful, basically, in with, with potatoes, so about this much salt, all in there. Salty as the sea and that is going to season our potatoes from the inside out. So as they soak in the water and they cook, they're gonna be seasoned from the inside. Now I'm gonna leave my potatoes cooking. I'm gonna bring them to the boil and boil them for about eight to 10 minutes until they're nice and tender and a cutlery knife can go into them really easily. Okay, so it's been eight minutes since it came to a boil. So now I'm going to drain my potatoes into a colander, very important. Okay, now this is a really important stage where we are gonna shake the potatoes in the colander and they're gonna bash against the holes in the colander, creating a slightly fluffy outside, which is really important for getting the crispy potatoes. Once you've got this fluffy edge around them all, you just wanna leave them to steam while you get your tray ready for the oven. So, people often think that you need to have a really big hot tray of fat in the oven before you pour the potatoes on. I find that it doesn't make that much difference. So I'm gonna go for half sunflower oil, half olive oil. I'm just doing it by eye, but basically you want the whole of the bottom to be covered. I am gonna put some rosemary and garlic in the tin, some rosemary sprigs around. They'll go completely black and crispy by the end, but they flavor the oil which is soaked into the potatoes. I'm also gonna add a few cloves of garlic you don't even need to bother peeling them. Get maybe four cloves, give them a good bash, and add them to the oil. And again, they'll be inedible by the end of this process, but the garlic will infuse the oil, which is gonna be soaked up by the potatoes. Okay, so my potatoes have been sitting in the colander and steaming for a good 10 minutes. You can still see there's some steam coming off them. Um, if you've got more time, you can leave them for longer. You can do this the day before and keep them in the fridge. But we're gonna get cooking now, okay? So I'm gonna put the potatoes into my roasting dish and make sure they're only in one layer. Now I'm just gonna get a spoon and just flip them all around and make sure that they're all coated in the oil. Right, these are gonna go in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes and I'm not gonna touch them. And then hopefully in 30 minutes, when I take them out of the oven, the underside will all be nice and crispy. And then I'm gonna turn them all over, give them a good shake around and put them in for another 30 minutes. So, as you can see, they are sizzling away and they just need to all be turned over so they can get crispy on the other side. So after being turned, they went back in for another 30 minutes and now they should be done. Great, so nice and golden brown. They look delicious. The last thing we're going to do is just finish them off with a really generous amount of sea salt. Make sure you remember that, otherwise they can taste just a bit fatty rather than nice and salty and crispy. So that is a full bowl of my roast potatoes, really nice and golden brown, really nice and crispy. I think they're probably a little bit too hot to try right now. Thanks for watching.